I think we need to think about uh, journalists around the world and uh, how imperiled they are. Uh, freedom of the press has really been sliding backward for quite some time, and it's not just in countries like Saudi Arabia. This, this case really stands out as particularly brutal and particularly frightening, particularly because Saudi Arabia is an ally of the United States. But we also know that journalists around the world who are just simply trying to do their jobs are getting killed, arrested, uh, raped, imprisoned, and it's, it's really quite a terrible thing. Um, when, when I think about press freedom and the importance of information, uh, you know, I don't think we can um, undermine how important it is for, for democracy to have information, for people to have information to make decisions. And, um, you know, when we undermine the press, we, we hurt all of that. On the one hand, we could show that we you know, respect it here at home. On the other hand, it gets a little tricky because a, 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 free a free press kind of exists in relationship with a free and open government. And if you, and if you don't have both, then you, you can't really have one of them. And, and, and the reason is this, like the, the role of a press is, is essentially to be critical, uh, to, to ferret out wrongdoing and to, and to bring that to the public. If the public doesn't have a vehicle or an avenue to express their reaction to the news that they read, then they're going to uh, inch towards violence or radicalism and a, 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 a kind of uh, ossified government that, that can't be um, reformed or can't be addressed by a public response is going to then push back and, 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 cru and crush that resistance. It, you know, in the United States, in an ideal scenario, when uh, the New York Times exposes a member of Congress uh, with, for wrongdoing, voters then throw that member of Congress out. If the member of Congress were a king or a prince, they would then crush the New York Times rather than allow the voters to, to eject them. I'm not saying that electoral democracy is the only, you know, the only open way to have a government. There could be some other consensus-based approaches, but you have to have you know, an inclusive way for people to be able to read the product of a free press and then respond to it in a way that they feel is, is addressing that, otherwise it gets bottled up. So just supporting a free press is, is going to be kind of a figment of a Western imagination if, there's all, if there isn't also an open government.